Hey everybody, it's your girl Coco Kitten Bruja here and I am back with a collective. Um, this particular collective is just really general energy, no real specifics in mind. Still working on my setup, y'all. I might have to go back to my galaxy table, um, my resin galaxy table as the overlay. So bear with me as I am working in this new space, figuring out what works, what doesn't, right? So for those of you who are new here, we're going to start off with three deep breaths in through the nose, inhaling all of those higher vibrating frequencies and energies, um, love, peace, prosperity, all of that fun stuff. Um, and we're going to hold it in our solar plexus, get our stomach nice and tight for three seconds. And then we are going to release through our mouths, letting go of all of that lower vibrating energy, all of these stress and worries, fear, doubt, imposter syndrome, all of that stuff. We're going to get rid of all of that stuff every time we exhale through our mouth. I'm going to spray some of my good old stuff to get ready here. And once I ring this good bell, I want you guys to go ahead and do that breath work while I shuffle. Excuse me. So let's just get right into it. We're going to start off with the Intuit Tarot. Okay. And for those of you who are going to ask about my nails, I do press ons. You can go to Lati Cure, L A T T I C U R E, on Instagram. Ever since COVID, I do not really go get my nails done like that anymore. I did for a brief period of time, and now I'm back to my press on. So let's go ahead and get started. Oof. Energy is really high right now. Venus is in retrograde. <clears throat> Xs are coming back. People falling in love. You know, it's 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 a good time for everybody. Let's see what these cards are saying though. I'm hearing the word contracts. Contracts. Um somebody signing paperwork. Is it a house? Is it a job? I will say this if it is a job, if it's a job, people are signing offer letters for jobs. Make sure you negotiated your salary beforehand. Some of y'all are shortchanging yourselves. Oh, snap. Okay. Well, we are going to take these. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands came up on Monday. The Tower. The Page of Wands. And what's this? The Four... The three and the four of wands came up on Monday's reading too for Money Monday. If you didn't check that one, go back and watch Money Monday. There's some, some very consistent energy happening this week. We also talked about this three of wands energy on um, the podcast on Tuesday. Y'all, lit spirit is, spirit is real serious about what's happening right now. Bottom of the deck is the nine of wands, but we'll get to that in a second. So... There is a lot of great things happening right now. Um, for those of you who did my yearly recap, my 2023 forecast way back in December, uh, I remember very consistently the end of summer is going to bring a lot of good shit to people. Um, it is going to be a time of celebration. It's going to be a time of renewal. Um, definitely feeling the love here. Again, with this Venus retrograde, people are going to come back. And they're going to come back with a little bit more sense to them. Now, have discernment. Because not everybody is going to come back healed. At least not healed enough to be worthy of you. I'm going to say that again. Not every ex is going to come back healed enough to be worthy of you and some of you don't take what I say and run with it you better think about what you're doing first and I had I had to hit y'all with the mom voice because I don't want nobody saying well Coco you said they was gonna come back healed and I also told you to have discernment 
Okay, moving on. So with this Nine of Cups energy, let's start there. Pairing this Nine of Cups with this Three of Wands, some of you are about to enter dream season. Like the season of this is everything that I wanted, right? Now, I want to preface this by saying there are so many times where spirit gives us what we want, but it doesn't look like what we thought it would, right? I'm going to say that again. There are so many times where spirit gives us exactly what we want. But because it doesn't look exactly like we want it to, we feel like we failed. We feel like we fell short. And sometimes we have the audacity to feel like spirit didn't do what it was supposed to do. Now, spirit has given you the eggs, the milk, the flour. You know the scenario where you're giving the, you're giving the pieces and it's up to you to put it together to make the cake. And... There are so many times where we asked for, let's say, let's say we asked for a cake, but spirit wind up giving us cupcakes still made of the same things. It just looks different, but it tastes the same. It's going to feel the same way when you eat it. It might even look the same, just in smaller pieces, but because it wasn't the full cake, we may feel like we failed or we may feel like, you know, spirit didn't do what it was supposed to do. I need you guys to understand that when you show gratitude for what it is, spirit will continue to meet and exceed your needs. And so I want some of you to take a moment and think about the things that you said you wanted. And then think about the things that you say you have. How close are they to being the same? Some of you may be surprised at how much what you asked for is what you have. And that's also a lesson in being a little bit more specific, right? But we'll get into that later. Now, with these two side by side, I definitely feel like that winning season. However, either some of you have had to go through the tower to get there or you are in the middle of a tower moment now and... As somebody who had an immense tower moment earlier this year, I can say that the towers are hitting hard this year. The tower moments are hitting us in, in the depths of our soul because spirit is trying to course correct us in such a way that we don't have time to keep being hard-headed, right? Right? Spirit is telling us we don't have time for y'all to keep <clears throat> touching the stove to see if it's hot. I'm just going to burn your hand off real quick so you can see how serious this is. And I'm not saying that to scare you guys. I'm not. But what I'm saying is if you are following the um, Schumann Resonance, um, oh God, I hope I'm saying that. I'm pretty sure it's the Schumann Resonance where it, it um, checks global frequencies. If you're checking that, if you are in tapped in with spirit and you can feel how energy is different, time is different, these these um, parallel reality shifts are happening at such a rate, we, d we don't have time for <clears throat> making these same minor mistakes over and over again. Oh my God, hold on guys, I need to take a sip of water. Oof. <clears throat> we don't have time for it. Um, so these tower moments are hitting hard. They are hitting hard. So for those of you who haven't really had a tower moment, and I'm not saying this to scare you. I'm not saying this to be paranoid. I'm telling you so you can be prepared. You can energetically be prepared for something to course correct you. Because we all know, like I say all the time, that's what the tower is. The tower is about course correction. And some of us are going to have to take that really sharp left turn instead of easing into it, right? But what happens after that tower, that's when you start coming in and you're getting that good news and you're getting those good feelings and you start to see how things are starting to align for you to where now you can have this celebration in the Four of Wands, Right? Some of you are going to get past <clears throat> major humps in your relationships 
and find yourself on such a path to where marriage might make sense, right? Some of you are going to be in situations where you are finally turning the page on your financial situation so that now you can get that home. You can get that apartment if that's what you, you know, the situation that you're in. You have a better mental state so you can get that promotion because you now worked harder to get it. <clears throat> but the the tower moment, the course correction <clears throat> has either already happened for some of you or will be happening. I'm sorry, there is a glare happening right here. So I'm going to move it right there. All right. Now, with that being said, let's talk about the bottom of the deck. Nine of Wands, King of Wands, and the Four of Coins, right? I feel like, as always, um, I've been saying that the bottom of the deck, they are almost like warnings, right? But I feel like in this particular case, it's not just a warning. It's more of a declaration of <clears throat> how to prepare when we talk about the nine of wands that's 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 standing your ground right it even says a test of faith so as this tower moment is happening spirit is going to be like okay so what have you learned since your last tower moment what have you learned <clears throat> in your spiritual journey your studies all of the things and the tools that you've been gathering how are you going to execute them in this tower moment right <laughs> And so I feel like what's happening here is, is the cards are basically saying, whatever you decide on, stand 10 toes down on it. Whatever you're going to do, do it unwaveringly. That is a word. Um, do so with confidence <clears throat> because when you show this king of wand energy, this, this sovereign, this free thinker, right? <clears throat> You are showing spirit that I have taken everything you've given me and I am applying and I am standing on it and I am going to affirm the reality that I want based on my action, based on my execution of the tools that's been given to me, right? Because what's going to wind up happening now, I know a lot of people look at the four of coins and you get the scarcity mindset like it says on the card but like hoarding <clears throat> and different things like that um and you guys know i don't flip my cards upside down because ocd but i do read reversal energy and when it comes to the four of coins reversed i feel like it's about being more responsible and stable with your money but not just money your energy as well right being stable with where you put your energy <clears throat> being more practical about where you put your energy right so i feel like this the bottom of the deck is a warning wrapped in um a plan right Decide what you want to do about this tower moment. Stand ten toes down and be the leader of, of, of your life, of, of, the, of the outcome that you want. Be a leader. Stand on that. And so you can be more fiscally sound with your energy, which will probably wind up giving you more stability financially, right? <clears throat> so now let's go to our oracle. I'm going to try to scoot this over yeah y'all just bear with me because this this setup will probably change again <laughs> and i am still using intuit this is the zodiac 108 oracle i'm going to be completely honest i'm going to upload this but i'm not certain if by the time i upload it i will have the links to these decks in the description. So bear with me. And because there's 108 <laughs> cards, I have to shuffle them off screen because I don't have enough room. <clears throat> All right. How are we digging deeper into this spirit? How are we digging deeper into this? Okay. <clears throat> Perfect. 
person of earth again that's that four of coins energy popping through person of earth crack shot and baby new beginnings bottom of the deck being slingshot so when we talk about a person of earth right person of earth is very grounded obviously um now this goes back to again this four of coins energy i feel like they're going hand in hand here but person of earth when we talk about the page of wands and the nine of cups I get root chakra. I get um, understanding. What are you? What are you? What? What's happening? It's it's understanding the foundation of what you want, right? As you're getting this good news and understanding how things are aligning for you. <clears throat> Do your checks and balances on what it is you actually want, right? What ship are you waiting to come in, right? How have you earned this based on this tower moment? This person of earth, it could be you. It could be somebody that's significant to you that you can learn from. Um, it's understanding the foundation of what it is you want and understanding if it's, a, if it's in an area where you need help, who can you reach out to, right? Because I guarantee you, if it's about money and you go to a Taurus or a Capricorn, they're going to tell you exactly how to make that money, baby. Shout out to my, my Taurus gang gang um, and my Cat Moons gang gang. Uh, but definitely, definitely take the time to ground yourself. Understand the foundation of what it is you want. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. <coughs> And then take a look around you. Look at your environment. Is there somebody that you can speak to in regards to how to execute what you need, right? <clears throat> Moving into crack shot. <laughs> I like how I said competent and superior <clears throat> as this is over the page, the three of wands and the four of wands. <clears throat> bringing all of this together learning how to be very competent in your energy your power who you are right and and i hope you guys i hope you guys don't hear that in the background i apologize if you do i have absolutely no idea what's going on outside my house right now anyway <clears throat> But I feel like this is this is definitely your energy, especially with this three matching up here. <clears throat> there is a lot of like power of three type energy because we have a nine, we have a three, we have a three, we have a nine. Yeah, sorry, my numerology like thing is kicking in. Um, <clears throat> being competent and understanding exactly what it is you want it goes back to this what are you really trying to achieve what is it that you're waiting for when we talk about our ships coming in or whatever um <clears throat> somebody's about to get engaged i'm sorry like i know i'm saying a whole lot of half stuff but i keep looking at these cards and like <sighs> These three, these two, these these three in particular, right here. Somebody is about to get engaged this week, and <clears throat> I'm here for it. It's gonna be super romantic, super cute. It's gonna be pink. Yeah, I hope that didn't give nothing away, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> what's about to happen? to a lot of us when I talk about dream season, it's going to put us in situations where <clears throat> we don't have a choice but to start over, right? Some of us are gonna get elevated so much that it's not a matter of, oh, well, <clears throat> I can do this one extra thing now or I understand this a little bit better. I'm talking about complete overhauls where people won't have a choice but to change their address because they're in a, a better situation. People won't be able to do anything but cut off certain people because they've gone and grown and elevated so much mentally and spiritually that people have just fallen out of frequency with them, 
right? That's where a lot of us are going with this new beginnings, this rapid growth. And it goes back to um, spirit hitting us with this course correct, right? <clears throat> spirit un showing us that we are off course and we need to get back into alignment with who we are, who, who our power, like that's what we're getting back to. That's what we're getting back to. And I feel like <clears throat> this could be the, the jumping point to a huge shift globally. And there's a lot of power in the energy that's in front of us. things are about to change in a way that <clears throat> I almost feel is as, as as heavy as COVID and I don't know where this is coming from right now but but it's not going to be bad like I just keep seeing a level playing field level the playing field level the playing field like <clears throat> I know this is supposed to be a collective but I almost feel like this is there's some global energy in this where this tower moment, this tower moment is leading into this page of wands and this four of wands. And we stood 10 toes down and we've, we've shown who we can be, how we can lead, how we can be there for our communities. And we're being smarter financially. We're putting our money into the right places. We are, you know, having unions and boycotts. And this feels, this feels very global. I, and I'll be completely honest. I've been having some issues connecting my, my, my message because I almost feel like I'm getting two different things going like this. And it's because it's the collective, but it's also the global corrective. Like the moment we began to ground ourselves and and step into our spirituality, our, our our journeys, the moment we started to ground ourselves, we became competent. We became more superior in our thinking, in our doing, in our actions, in the way we show love. We're becoming more skilled in our own power. It's becoming more and more clear. And, we, we, and we've gotten wittier because <laughs> we don't take anything seriously, you know? <clears throat> and I feel like what's about to happen is this rapid growth. New phase, new beginnings, fresh start. And I just keep seeing, level the playing field level the playing field at the bottom of the deck we have tension strain sudden anxiety pressure and of course you can't have this kind of change without also feeling that tension <clears throat> from those who like to keep things the same force Pulled in opposite direction. This is <clears throat> for those of you who have been following me since the beginning of Coco Kitten Bruja. You saw on Facebook, I, I made a post in 2019 about how things are about to change. And then again in 2020, um, I had a vision and I wind up writing a whole poem about it, but we, we've entered the dark night of the soul for quite a bit of the world <laughs> and especially the U.S., um, 
And at the end of that, we see our Page of Wands and Four of Wands moment. And I know I have I've never really, never really done a reading like this. I will be completely honest. I don't internalize a lot of things when we talk about world news and things like that. <clears throat> but since 2019, I've always just kind of had these type of downloads. But by the time I'm ready to do a reading, I've never gotten one before until now. Take what resonates. And I don't want anybody to be like scared. I don't want anybody to get paranoid. We've seen really bad things since 2020. And we have survived and we are pushing through and we will continue to be okay. And I mean okay in the sense that, you know, we, we will make it through another day. I don't want you guys to take this message and, and be scared because I, I never want to be that type to incite fear, incite paranoia because our, we're more powerful than that. We're more powerful than the things that want to keep us from being competent from being skilled, for being precise. I'm going to use this last oracle <clears throat> and I want you guys to pause this video for about 10 seconds and think of three questions. I'm going to pull three cards. <clears throat> Decide now, do you want one, two, or three? So what I want you to do is think of one question. I'm sorry, think of one question and then decide if you want one, two, or three to be your answer. So pause it, 10 seconds, get your one question and then decide one, two, or three. This oracle <clears throat> is basically a yes or no oracle with uh, threads of fate. Question one, it's on its way to you. It's on its way to you. Now, whatever it is, make sure it is exactly what you want. It is, is put, put your intention and put specifics on it because it's on its way to you. Question two, your magic is potent. So <clears throat> for this particular answer, um, I feel like spirit is telling you this because you can decide the outcome that you want. You can decide exactly how you want this to play out. Okay? Your magic is potent. And in all, when all else fails, go to your over, uh, excuse me, oversoul. Okay, question three, unveil your truth. I think you need to keep it real with yourself. Like really, really think about your question. And is there a place in that question where you're not being completely honest with yourself? 
about what you want, your accountability. Unveil your truth. Be real with yourself. And then ask that question again and see if the answer don't just jump out at you. There's so many times where um, I want to go to somebody else and, and, and get help and get their advice. But when I just stop, really think about it, and then ask my question, ask the question again, my oversoul will jump out and be like, bitch, you know damn well. And then I'll be like, yeah, you right. You see what I'm saying? This has been a ride. <laughs> I have not done a collective reading this long in I don't know how long. I look, y'all, I'm I'm sorry. I'm not one of those readers that's gonna like force myself to do a time restraint. I'm just gonna talk until they tell me to shut up. And apparently it's time for me to shut up. So uh yeah. Sending you guys tons and tons of love and light. Until next time, peace.